this is going to be a video on some of those trim hacks we talked about. It's how to take something that has all these um, shapes that are not square or plumb or level and come up with an accurate way of getting measurements for those inside jams that we talked about. It, it's not hard. You may have a, a specific way of doing it. If, if you do, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear how you do it. Um, that's the way I pick up uh, new knowledge and ideas. So please do that. So we're going to focus on the bank of four in the middle. And real quickly, um, essentially what we did in this case is, let's see if I can get any larger, eh, is find out a way to measure the glass so that we're not too far in on the glass and too far out. Um, and get an accurate measurement to take to the saw and cut and make the jams for this window. So essentially what we came up with was a jig like this. And the jig, let me highlight it for you. This portion of the jig is simply the thickness of the jam. It's actually a scrap piece of jam. And then we glued on a 5 16 extra piece that extra piece that's glued on both sides uh, to the bottom is actually for offset. So that gives us 5 sixteenths of an inch room to plumb level and square everything. So once we had that figured out, uh, we went to uh, the actual window and we took our jig and we just put some orientation marks like the arrow would be, you know, to the window. And TSO means this side out. I'm just kind of, I don't know, anal about that, I guess you could say, <laughs> because I, it's easy to pick this piece up if you don't have it marked and start marking the window with the incorrect uh, side to the window. And that's important because the um, the additions that we put on the 5 sixteenths for the um, offset are glued on the bottom up there and glued on the bottom down here. So that's why I've got the arrow pointing here so that it slides. And if we come up and zoom in on the actual window, you can see where I've slid the jig uh, up and down the window and then just used a Sharpie against the edge of the jig to the window. You can see some of the Sharpie there in the picture. And I did that um, at the top, all the way across the top about, I don't know, 12 inches down each side of the top and did the same treatment on the bottom uh, sides. And then we just took this little um, offset block and put it uh, laying flat at the bottom of the window here, down here in the bottom here, and just placed the um, uh, tape measure on top of the offset block and measured up to the top to our inclines. And that gave us a very accurate, accurate measurement from the bottom to the top. So in this case, like we talked about earlier, the anchor point <clears throat> would be the bottom. So I measured consistently, you know, the anchor point starting, I measured this one from the bottom, this one, this one, this one, and then to the top. And then when you measure the width, um, I did take um, two measurements just for kicks and giggles. I took one uh, side to side from the top and side to side from the bottom. And the framers actually did a, a really good job on this. It was a little out of plumb, but not much. And then this bottom plate all the way across was level or as close to level as you could get it. And so, and I called him and I said, hey, dude, thanks, because you made my job a lot easier. <laughs> he doesn't get phone calls like that. When you framed it, I, I told him, so when you framed it, you did a great job. So, um, again, just block at the bottom, set the measuring tape on it, measure up to the ink lines. And I took inside measurements. So, <clears throat> you'll have essentially this, let's break it down. So, I'd measure this side from bottom to top this side because they're all separate pieces right this piece bottom to top and then i came up here on the scaffolding measured the length of that piece measured the length of this piece needed and then came down to the bottom and measured with the ink lines uh the bottom 
And then I checked, like I said, checked those measurements. So it came out pretty sweet. And something to note is these are inside only measurements. So I, I measured the inside, took the angles uh, based on what ink was on the glass with my angle finder and cut everything based on the inside angles. So once we had the jams um, measured, cut, built, and installed, then we marked the, uh, the jams on the reveal. And essentially what that looks like is something like this right here. So this is the jam installed and shimmed in, in the window. And essentially, um, and I've got it highlighted in red because the pencil line didn't show up. But the reveal is marked, this is a 3 16th inch reveal and I have a little tool that I, I just place on the inside of the jam and then mark the outside with a pencil. But essentially that 3 16th inch reveal is uh, the anchor point of where we're gonna measure for the trim. Throwing out the tape measure at this point, as far as um, accuracy is concerned, I, I did use the tape measure to get a rough measurement of the uh, windows um, approximately, not approximately, but a rough measurement of the bottom. So that's one, the, the piece I started with. Uh, remember each piece is individually thought of here in the process. So I, I found that measurement. I found the measurements, rough measurements here and so forth as each piece. Um, once I got that, to put it on paper, I took uh, 140 and a half, this bottom measurement, which is rough. Um, and I've added probably two inches to that rough measurement just to make sure I have enough board. Then we took, if you look at the bottom left, we took the uh, what the board length would be on the angle. So on a 45 degree angle, essentially you need to add the width of the board that's what it comes out to, to the left side and the width of the board uh, to the right side. What you can see marked up here in the top right is the rough measurements. And I, I've got a marked bottom, you know, side, top, left, right, middle. But like, for instance, on the bottom piece here, um, that is the 140 and a half plus the uh, width added to it plus some extra. Once I got that board, um, rough cut or rough and length cut and got all these boards so i went ahead and cut everything you see here to rough lengths uh, oversized lengths then believe it or not the the trim hack is to um, get on the scaffolding with um, the the long cut boards and actually um, position the boards exactly on that reveal that we talked about that 3 16 inch that reveal that goes around each one of these sections representing each jam in the window so for instance um, i took the bottom board and it was long to account for the waist on the angle or the length on the angle i tacked it in place exactly on that reveal line that we talked about earlier and then i went and marked with a pencil uh, where that board intersected each reveal mark on each individual piece of jam material. Okay, so essentially we went from this drawing to this finished piece. You can see the jams are installed. Um, we have the trim attached to the jams and the wall. And everything turned out pretty good on this project. Um, you can see the reveal if I zoom in really close. You can see the 3 16ths reveal up here uh, all the way around. You know, when I started in trim carpentry um, and didn't know anything, I would have put those jams in position like we had them. And then I would have taken a um, measuring tape and I would try to have like used this over here on the, the bottom left as the anchor point and use this as my finish point. And I would have tried to drag a tape across here on scaffolding off the floor to the finish side or the ending side and then capture each measurement uh you know in between all these things and the and that's where the cumulative era uh when i was a beginner 
would kick into place and kind of ruin my day. So by placing those boards up there and marking them to each individual jam on the reveal is how we hacked around getting a perfect, uh, a near perfect fit of the uh, trim to the jam. Hope that makes sense. Um, I learned something. I hope you did. Um, if you could leave me a comment, I sure would appreciate it. Let me know what I need to improve on. <laughs> There's no shortage of people that want to just slam you on YouTube. Uh, I would ask that you be um, nice if you can. And uh, just let me know um, what you think. Thank you.